All right, let's change the color. I got to get used to being different colors all the time. Let me go green. And let's just do it. Let's do it. I've got to turn on the microphone. <laughs> Thank you very much, Randoms, uh, for pointing that out. All right. I didn't see any suggestions from the chat. I think I'm going to go with Memnon here uh, because I feel like it's a little, been a little while. So let's just do it. Let's just do it. Yeah, I feel like it's been a while since I've played Memnon, and uh, you know we can't let uh, we can't let everyone else have all the fun here. I just saw Memnon wreck. Why is this okay? Mini Ka here is choosing factions. Hey, Snowtoad Studios, it's the return of Memnon indeed. All right, fighting over a skirmish. It's a lot of spice. All right, no signet ring. Round one, unfortunately. I love a round one Memnon signet ring into Haga Basin. It's just so tasty. Unfortunately, uh, not able to make that happen. I love a Thufir. I love a Thufir Hawat. But I don't think uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to grab him this round. So I think I'm gonna send my Dune to Haga Basin if I can, and set myself up for for like a Selma Lange next round. Next round, a Signet Ring into a Selma Lange. Okay. Oh, hold on. The desert is bright. We need protection here. Dune, the desert planet. Let's go. Let's go. Now, if I can get a couple more spice here, that would be great. I'm going to I'm going to throw in two troops and see if I can get maybe second. Even third would kind of be nice because I'm planning to visit Selma Lange next round. Anyway, if I can get... If I can get a couple of spice now, that opens me up to a Selmalange Swordmaster next round to lead things off, which is really what I want. Okay, and Baron didn't put in more troops, so that's really good news for me in terms of hoping for a second place. I do have the dagger to back me up a little bit. Um, all right, we're out of the desert. Now. Uh, I guess I'll play the Seek Allies. And I'm just going to go for the Solari here. All right, so that dagger helped me. Some, uh, some nice five cost cards there. Looks like Helena is going to be grabbing Thufir Hawat for herself, or at least getting it out of the way so nobody else can. We'll see. Okay, Leto's in on this now. I don't like that. I don't like that. It looks like I'm going to be sitting on a third place. I mean, it's still all right. I still actually don't mind it. I mean, maybe the dagger will help me, but I feel like Leto's going to have daggers too, so. Okay, with three, that's a definite The Voice. The Voice. 
la voix, le voix. Sonin. Yeah, Leo had one dagger too. Okay, so we're both tying for a second, which is a bit of a pain, but it's still it still opens up the play I'm talking about. Now the question is, you know, is Leto gonna get into it get it into his crazy head that he wants to sell to Melange? He might, because that would get him to eight Solari. Oh, that would be a real sad thing if he does that. No. Oh, no. Oh, that one sword off. Ah, oh, Leto. No. Oh, that hurts. That really hurts. Okay, well, now what? Um, now what? Well, I want to play the Signet Ring. I could go for High Council this turn. Maybe get myself a power play. Never mind, secure contract has been taken. That's what I was thinking of getting. <sighs> Me. That's a lot of disappointment. I was very excited. I was very excited and then everything went to hell. Okay. <laughs> well, I want to use the signet ring somewhere. Do I want to be drawing a card? That might not be that might not be bad. All right, I'm going to do that. Let's see what we get. A Dune. Okay. Everybody has agents left. Everybody has troops left. I don't know how psyched I am about this. I'm going to hold off on that. Yeah, Leto grabs the Swordmaster. Nice play from Leto to um, to fight for that spice there. Round two Swordmaster is so nice to get. As for my other agent, the thing is, I I have some hope that maybe I could pick up one of these two things, but I'd have to use my dagger basically to Hall of Oratory to do it, and it's still not like for sure that I'll even you know be able to. Um, but there's an okay shot at it. The other option would just be going to Carthag, um, maybe throwing in a few troops. I could throw in three. You know what? I think I have a shot at that. I mean, the Baron might end up going to Hardy Warriors and then taking over. Ah. We'll do it this way.
So, yeah, I was... Okay. I was considering throwing in three troops and, you know, I would have had a shot. I was worried about the Baron going here. He had the water for it. Um, I haven't been keeping track of his deck or anything. I mean, okay, his diplomacy's gone, so maybe he couldn't have done it. But I'm hoping to get this power play. We'll see what Helena does. She does have five cards in hand. But not enough for the power play. Okay, so I'm going to grab that. It looks like my three troops actually could have carried the day there. Don't know for sure, but it it looks like it. Okay, I'm uh, basically nowhere on the influence so far. Um, okay, I should be able to get the Swordmaster this round. Hmm. I sort of had like oh, some kind of a crazy plan of using the power play and the diplomacy here to try to get that, but um, <clears throat> not going to happen now. Okay, I'm doing this. What do people want to do here? Well, people might want this or this. What about my next play? I guess I probably want still suits with the power play. I mean, I'm going to Swordmaster next, but at least maybe it'll mess people up enough that it'll still be there, although it signals that I might want it. Um, it may have been smarter to, to block that, but whatever. Okay, let's grab the Swordmaster. Um, honestly, I'm actually kind of tempted by the wealth because that would make sure I have enough for the High Council seat right away. And otherwise, it's going to take me a while to get there. Uh, I kind of wanted to do that. What's going on here? Oh, I just got the Swordmaster? Okay, whoops. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I think it I think it will be the wealth if it's there. Nope, it's not there. It's not there. That is unfortunate. That's another way Lito messed me up by tying me for second place on that first conflict with the spice. If I had one more spice, then I'd already have enough Solari to do that. Man, that was such a devastating tie. <laughs> well, I might as well do it here. Um, you know, make sure I've got that thing available to me. Get some water in my pocket. I think uh, I think that's the move. Now, do I want to deploy any troops? Maybe one. I'm going to I'm going to try one. We'll see if Leto ends up putting in one. He does have two agents left. He very well could. Um, it's actually pretty likely, right? Because he doesn't have a lot of faction spaces to go to, so he's probably going to be going to cities. Um, he's probably going to put in a troop or two. We'll see. Okay, he's folding space. All right, let's see what his next one is. Okay, I reveal. And I'm going to get a space travel for myself. Space travel is a pretty nice card. Um, the fact that it reveals for two persuasion really is partly what makes it good because you don't always want to go here, but um, you know it's often a good idea to do it. Gets you some influence at the guild. Um, the fact that it's a card that can take you to Hayliner can be incredibly important. And it draws you a card when you play it. Um, I, I really like that card. Okay, so I do manage to get a prize for my one little unit. And at this point, I think probably the Intrigue card. Ugh. Um, I think the Intrigue card is probably going to be more important than the one Spice. So I'm going to do that. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, that's good to know about. That's very good to know about. So instead of one spice, maybe I got two victory points. Maybe. I've got a lot of work to do. I got a lot of work to do there. Okay. Um, what is my goal here? I would like to get a high council seat. I'm not super crazy about this conflict. Anybody else have two water? Yeah, both of these guys do. Okay. Um, do the desert planet up to secure contract. We'll do that. So I feel like securing the contract is not actually happening in the deserts, which is why I didn't need the eye protection for that. Um... But, I don't know. It is doing the desert planet. It's a little confusing. A lot of garrison troops for the Baron here. Moving ahead on this track. Lito is loving the Menta at this game. Holy. I mean, it only costs him one, right? So he has this ability, Landsrad Popularity. Sending an agent to a Landsrad board space costs you one Solari less. So, I mean, it's, an, it's a very good spot for him. Absolutely.
Hmm. Tempted to pick up some water myself. I'm tempted to get another intrigue card. What's the top card of my deck? A dagger. I don't think I care a ton about this. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care right now about that. Baron gets the Swordmaster, so it's just Falconess on Helena right now without it. Sitting on five Solari. We'll see if she wants to get the High Council seat first. Hmm. It's going to be tricky for me to get any alliances. Maybe I have something of a shot with the guild because of the space travel, but... Oh, I really messed up. <laughs> I wanted to get my uh, High Council seat this turn. I completely forgot. Oh, man. I really... I really blew that. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Now, I think I want another Intrigue card then. So let's do that. Okay, that could be useful. Deploy troops. I mean, the Solari might actually be nice, given that I have a bribery. So I'm going to throw in one and see where that gets me. Do I throw in two? Nah, I'll throw in one. All right, so Baron, I assume, is going to throw in three here. He's got seven in his garrison. Yeah. Leto still has two agents because Leto is getting the Mentat every turn. Okay, Baron burning an entry card there because he was going to be sitting on four otherwise, so that makes a lot of sense. Leto rallying the troops. Okay. So he's actually ready to throw in some army armies here if he wants to as well. We'll see. We'll see if I end up getting anything out of this. I may not. All right, and I think it's gonna be the test of humanity. This just makes a lot of sense to me. It's a great card. Um, you know, it can take me to Bene Gesserit, which I'm going to need if I want to trigger that Plans Within Plans. You know, I can reveal it for two if I want to. Also playing it, you know, messes people up. So that's definitely the card for me. And then it's end turn. It's looking pretty decent for the Baron to win this. Um, you know, it's only three troops. Leto could throw in three troops. Well, can he? If he went to Hardy Warriors. Oh, or if he uses the Freeman camp. But how desperate is he here? Do you really want to burn your spice on this? Okay. I mean, you might as well. You might as well get them into your garrison. <laughs> I'm going to get nothing. I'm going to get nothing. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, maybe it should have been two. But, you know, it's a small it's a small gamble. So
So I've got to think, where do I want the influence with the high council seat? I think I'm going to want it with either the guild or the Bene Gesserit. Um, <laughs> so sad, man. Ah. Okay. Does he have the spice for the double? No. So where's he going to take it? Emperor. Terrible purpose. Oh, it's a terrible purpose. All right. Um, Baron has the Mentats. Alito can't take it this round. Baron starting with four agents. Well, I, I mean, I'm going to take the High Council seat this time if I can. We'll see. Maybe Helena blocks me. Maybe I really blew it. Um, it's feeling potentially like I did. I certainly did blow it. But did I really blow it? We'll see. I have to consider um, getting myself up to six spice for round seven. Now, when round seven happens, Helena will be the first player. So I don't have a guaranteed first crack at the Hayliner, but I'd like to be ready for it. If I were to send Signet Ring to the Great Flat, that would get me four spice. Which isn't quite enough, especially when people are fighting over everything. Well, nobody else has the water to go there, so I don't have to make that decision right now. Um, where Helena, I think, is probably looking to get that Swordmaster. I might as well mess her up, right? But she might be getting the High Council seat if I don't take it. I, I don't know. Oh, I, yeah. I could block her with the voice. Let me just make sure I get what I want. Okay. Um, now. I'm going to do guild and end the turn. Yeah, it's gonna be hard for me to get in on this. I would like to get, you know, something out of it, but I don't know. I don't know. I've still got another round to make up the spice. Theoretically, I don't go here this round because it looks like nobody can still do it. I could let it build up. And thing is, it's not a guarantee that I can get it next round. I have two Doom the Desert Planets in my deck. Probably I'll get one next round, but it's not for sure. Well, what are my other options? Hmm...
Just trying to think if I could potentially get a spice must flow, but probably not. So I don't have a lot of great options, unfortunately. I don't know. That feels weird, but that's what I'm doing right now. If I was a little smarter right now, I might have been able to figure out like what space would be really great to block, like Conspire for Lido, maybe, but you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't mind getting another troop for now. And I may, I may end up just early revealing for this power play, to be honest, because you know, in order to trigger this plans within plans, I might need it. And I, yeah, there's honestly nothing really great I could do here. I mean, I, I could, I don't have to early reveal, right? I could still play voice and I'd still have five persuasion. The problem then is Leto's gonna reveal, Helena's gonna reveal, um, and there's a reasonable chance one of them will grab it. And I, I don't think I can risk. I don't think I can risk it. So I'm just going to reveal. And we're going to get a power play. And we're going to get an Arrakis liaison. That's going to be that. Nice resources here. Two, two, two. Two spice, two solari, two water. Yo, uh, Sylvain, what do you think? Can I can I win this one? You think I'm gonna win this one? Ben, je pas vraiment confiance là. Je pas là. Peut-être, peut-être. Okay, well, Sylvain said he's like he doesn't have a lot of faith in me. But, you know, there's a chance, so I don't know. I guess that's better than you've got no chance. Mini Caw racking up some points. Look at the points here. Okay, well, that's not a point. Doesn't do a ton for him. Um, I guess he just wants to burn the card, make sure he's not going to be sitting on four at some point. Lido looking pretty good to win this conflict. Looks like the spice is going to pile up on the great flat here. Um, so, you know, nobody having water. Now, that's true that someone could get water here. Ah, it's going to be Lido that gets it. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's going to get the great flat if he wants it. Um... No, what am I talking about? Leto's not getting the water. Who's second? Helena? Okay, that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> zero, zero reveal. I don't know if I've seen that before. <laughs> oh, boy. That's kind of funny. How did that happen? I guess because he had four agents. But, uh... Shouldn't he have had some cards to reveal? How did that happen? Wow, a staged incident. Okay. Helena looking to win this. Lido fighting for it. 
Helena passing. I'm passing. All right. So Leto does take it. That was hard fought. Oh, and he gets to trash the assassination mission. Okay, huge. Okay, this might be a good one for me to win. Okay, I've got I've got a lot of Oh, Alliance Steel. Oh, wow. Leto stealing the Emperor's Alliance from the Baron. Uh, is that good news for me? It's hard to tell. It evens out the points more at the moment, but uh, this Leto is a little worrisome. So I've got a lot of my faction cards in my hand right now, uh, which is a little awkward because I, I do want to grab this Four Spice. Um, also, it means I'm going to have a harder time actually drawing a faction card next time. But I have to get this spice. Although I don't necessarily have to get it right now. Still, nobody has enough water to do it other than me. So I think what I want to do, actually, is use the space travel... Hold on, could I put could I possibly get a spice must flow? I think it's too awkward for me to do it. Um so I'm gonna do this right now. And that's gonna do two things. Well it's gonna do a few things. Obviously it gets me the influence of the guild, it gets me the point right away. I'm gonna draw a card. And the good thing about that is it's going to get me, it's digging me deeper towards redrawing um, a guild access card next turn. Also, this adds one more to my discard pile, increasing my chances of drawing it uh, next round when it matters. So that's that. Now, I could you know, get insane and just early reveal for a spice must flow and get a point that way. But I don't think it makes a lot of sense because I really need to get these influence tracks up, right? I want to make sure I can trigger that plans within plans, which means three influence with all four factions. That's what I want. I want two points out of this. So I've got three to go here, one to go here, three to go here, one to go here. I can't afford to be not playing these cards. Um, I do have an influence here available. If I could win this, that would be helpful, but it's hard. These um, these players are really, they're really fighting for these conflicts. Yeah, I mean, can I fight that? I don't think I can, honestly. It's uh, It hurts. It hurts because I could really use those, but... <laughs> I mean, it's just not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. So, do I want to get the Bene Gesserit? I might as well do this, right? Mess everybody up. while they still have uh, you know, cards to discard and everything. Though it's kind of funnier to do it once they're not ready. Like, it's funnier to do it once they've used all their agents and they, they have their plan, but um, whatever. I'm going to do it now just to make sure that I actually can do it. You know, I want to make sure I can play that card to secrets. Helena has two water now. 
Oh no. Wait, how did she do that? What did I, what did she do? Oh, she went to Hayliner? <laughs> I didn't even notice. Obviously she threw in a whole bunch of troops. I didn't even notice. Um, okay, well. That is a problem. <laughs> that is a problem. Ugh. Oh, man. Yeah, I really, uh... I really didn't notice that. Which I certainly should have, but... I was uh, preoccupied with other things. Okay, Baron fighting hard for this. Now triggering the Master Stroke. Still, he wants to see if he can get that alliance back from Leto. Is she going to do it? I feel like she's probably going to do it, right? What else does she have to do? She can't get her High Council seat. She could go to Research Station. Oh, it's not even her turn. The timer tricked me. Okay, Leto getting his beloved Mentat. Back <laughs> again. Oh, I just have a bad feeling about this. No, okay. Oof. Oof, 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 oof. They're really fighting over this. Well, okay, let me do this now. Um, I'm not throwing any troops in. I mean, if I threw in troops, I could, you know, fight for third, but that's not happening. So we're done. It hurts that I couldn't use the diplomacy this turn. It really hurts. Like it's gonna be, it's gonna be hard for me to make this plans within plans happen. I have a, a shot, but honestly, I've still got. Two more here, one more here, two more here, one more here. It's a lot. That's a lot of work to do. Also, Vex for Vex, welcome to the chat. Thanks for being here and commenting. Wow. All right, with my six, I mean, I guess I need to take the Sardaukar Legion because it's a card that can take me up here for points. It's not. Uh, like uh, I think I have to. I mean, it's either that or I go gene manipulation. I, I you know, go towards buying spice must flow instead because this doesn't help me do that. But uh, I'm gonna do it that way. I don't want a missionara protectiva. I don't think I have. I have two benegesserit cards. Maybe you know what? Maybe I do it because. Why am I only seeing one? Where's my... Uh... Oh, it's over here. You know what? I am going to take it because it... It might end up getting me the influence I need. Who knows? It's worth a shot. Worth a shot. It's probably not going to work. But <laughs> oh my goodness, what a battle! Are they going to end up tying? I mean, that would be ideal for everyone. I mean, for me, for me and Lido, I guess it would be ideal. 
<laughs> we'll see. There are still intrigue cards potentially. The Baron has one. Mm, but it's not a combat intrigue. They end up tying. Oh, that's delicious. So neither of them gets those influence bumps. That's good news uh, for people who aren't them. And Solarian water gets passed out to people who aren't me. Okay, Grand Vision. Normally, this is kind of a, you know, I'm sort of disappointed by this one because I want to get a two-point play. But uh, I don't mind it. Now, Nobody has anywhere near enough spice, so it's not something I have to do necessarily immediately. Um, but I think it's going to be the diplomacy that's going to go there because, I mean, I, I'd like to get the alliance with the power play, but I think I have to use the power play to um, get me up to three points with the Bene Gesserit here. I think that has to be my, my move. Um, and I may end up having to just to burn the bribery. Just so I'm not sitting on four. Yeah, I don't have to do this yet. There's a... We'll see if I even end up doing it. But I think it's probably going to be... Useful. Okay. Let's go. Interesting. Interesting. Um, I... Do I want to use this? Because I may want to use that. I don't think anybody's going to secrets on me. Somebody'd have to have an infiltrate card. And you know what? Somebody might. And maybe I should have just, you know what? I should have just used it. It's not worth the risk. If someone steals my plans within plans, my plans are out the window. Wow. I think that alliance has been passed around three times now. So, you know what? Maybe I hold off on the hit. Uh, thing is, if I don't do it now, uh, maybe I can still do it next round. Where is he going with that? He could get a point here. He could maybe... Hey, Auburn's X. I'm going to talk about what you said about the Hayliner in a moment. Let me see. Do I want to do it? Okay, it does get me two water, right? Speaking of the, the Hayliner loop, it's not much of a loop because you, you, know, you can't just get six spice immediately back. Um, even if I use it, I'm not even really guaranteed to win there. Leto is already loading up. I don't know. Maybe I just get the Freeman point here. Or maybe I go here to... Maybe I have to try to make sure the Baron doesn't get this alliance. Oh, boy. Oh, I don't know. I'm really, uh...
<laughs> Wait. What the hell? No! No! What? You just play my entry cards as the AI? Oh my god, that's brutal. Okay. <laughs> no, that's... I mean, okay, I'm, I, I have the alliance. That's, it is what it is. But, uh, okay, can I make this work? I still need to get two points here. That's going to be hard to do now. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, let that be a lesson. Don't let your turn time out. Don't let your turn time out. Okay, now what do I do? I mean, getting more spice here. If I burn a bunch of these cards, maybe I can beat Leto? He still has two guys though. I think I wanna get water so that I've opened myself up for um, something next time. Okay, I am gonna throw these in. Part of the reason I'm doing that, it's a bit it's a bit sketch, right? Because I'm depleting my garrison ahead of the next round. But I'm just sitting on a lot of intrigue cards here and I kind of want to just like maybe use them, but Leo's probably going to go hard on this. But, you know what? If I get another intrigue card, another few spice, maybe that'll be all right. So Auburn's, yeah, the going between the Hayliner and the Great Flat, you know, it's not that easy to do. I don't see it as a huge problem. Sometimes players are able to do, like, there was a game last month, I think, or a month or two ago, where I was playing against a Paul Atreides player, and he did it more than I've ever seen. He played the Hayliner like five times in the game at least. Okay, this shifting allegiances could end up being big for me. So let me take that. And do I go another Missionara Protectiva? I'm going very heavy into this crazy idea, but honestly, I think I'm going to do it. Yeah, if having the combo, yeah, it helps a lot if you have uh, a carry all, for sure, <laughs> for sure. Colin P, where is the timer? Um, so, the timer doesn't start showing up until your your timer is kind of almost up. So you have ninety seconds for your turn, and I think the timer shows up when you have thirty seconds left. Oh man, um, I'm really sad about the AI burning my card there. That really is unfortunate for me. But we just gotta roll with it. So where's Leto gonna take this? Here doesn't help. He's gonna go here, I guess, and get that alliance. 3-11-3. The thing is, I'm worried about having so many... I think I'm going to use one of these and retreat some troops. 
and I'll give up I'll give up that intrigue card but I think I like that better you know I can still get the three spice and it sets me up better for the next round so I think I think I'm pretty happy with that I've not been able to get any spice must flow yet. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunate, but what are you going to do? This game this game could still go a lot of different ways. All right, battle for Karthag. Come on, baby. Yes, bold space. Okay, that's big. Now, again, I don't have to do it immediately necessarily. If I can get these two cards happening, I can trigger that. Okay. Maybe this would be a good time to go to selective breeding. I don't need this point, but drawing some cards could be nice. It could help me buy a Spice Must Flow this turn. Now the hate liner is not even a guarantee of a win. So getting some Solari for this would be good, but I'm not sure how I can really make that work. Okay, I'm doing this. Hey, Mavor, how's it going? Blocker in the game? What do you mean by that? Ooh, discarded a diplomacy, a convincing argument. A dagger. Okay. So this is why it really sucks that that card got used here, right? Because I ended up going here anyway. But um, let's get rid of this Dune the Desert Planet. Uh, okay, unfortunately it didn't quite get me to Spice Must Flow money, but that's still potentially possible. This Sardaukar Legion could be... Well, I'm planning to Hayliner, so... But that could be important, actually. We've got to be careful. Oh, Freeman Camp. Okay. Okay, Helena now has the spice for Hayliner, so I have to go to Hayliner now. I can't wait. Which is unfortunate because I can only choose one of those after, but that's just the way it is. I have to win this. Right now, I do have Spice Must Flow money. Oh, Mavor, you're talking about a card called The Voice. Um, I think I might have one of those in my deck, or at least maybe last game I did. Yeah, here it is. It's in my draw pile right now. Uh... Okay, I don't love the fact that he's got so many troops. I think it's Missionara Protectiva to... Arakeen. Draw me a card, which may not really matter, but um, 
It lets me put in two more troops because I'm a little bit worried about Leto here. It also will let me trigger that to get my one point there, which is not going to be enough to trigger two, but I think that's better than playing the Legion because I can't do both. So let's do this. Okay. Draw a card. Okay. Deploy. Yeah, I'm throwing it all in. I'm throwing it all in. So this could be three points. <laughs> okay, that's a little dangerous. Wow. First time Lido, Lido has visited a Freeman space this whole game up to this point. That's pretty interesting. That's rare. You could hold the troops for a reveal turn with Legion, right? Yeah, you're right. You're right. I should have done that for sure. That would have been, uh, that would have been good. I mean, I, I should have done it, but I don't know. Sometimes there is, sometimes it can work out to just kind of like scare people away from you, but uh, whatever. Okay, nothing I can do, so we'll reveal. We'll grab a spice must flow, which is great. And with the two remaining, I think it just has to be another liaison for Spice Must Flow. I think that's what it has to be. I'm a little worried about my last point with the Emperor, but yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> oh, why couldn't I have that intrigue card back? Where is it? Bribery. The bribery that the AI played. Here. <laughs> if I could just play it here, I'd be all set for my two-point plans within plans. But... You know, what are you going to do? It still wouldn't end the game this round, right? This only happens, like, you have to have 10 points first in order to, you know, somebody has to end the game before these happen. So I still wouldn't have been able to, like, end the round and win this round, but it just means that I would already have this point, which is not going to be necessarily easy for me to get, right? I'm drawing these three cards next turn. Um, I'm probably going to have to try to get Research Station if I can. But it's, it's a little sketch, right? Because there's going to be another two-point conflict coming up. So, and I'm probably not going to be able to win it. Oh, buying this Liat Kynes is also another way I could potentially do it. If need be. If I can't get a Spice Must Flow or something. She, when I buy her, I can get the Emperor's influence that way. Potentially. Um, so the way things stand now, I'm pretty sure I would have thrown in these three troops on reveal. 
anyway with the uh, with the Sardaukar Legion. Like I would have I would have put them in anyway, just to make sure. So in the end, I don't think it mattered, but it, it is something I definitely should have remembered to think about at least. <laughs> yeah, I see you there, randoms. Randoms one. Okay, I got the uh, victory points. Two victory points. Control of Carthag. The control of Carthag could end up mattering in terms of getting me money for the reinforcements. All right, so here's battle for Arakeen. Okay, the shifting allegiances could... That could do it. Oh, that could even maybe get me this alliance. I need to get Spice first. Hmm. This is interesting. This is interesting. Yeah, I'd love to get this alliance. Oh, man, that would just be a beauty move. Um, uh, but, <laughs> wait a minute. If I take that alliance, I'm not getting my point here. But maybe I take... The Alliance, I buy the Lee Toe, I mean the Liet Kinds. Maybe I don't get a Spice Must Flow. There's a lot of maybes and mites, but it's feeling pretty nice. I mean, the research station is definitely something I want to do. Um, so I think that is a better... The thing is... Okay, that's potentially good for me. Potentially. I mean, Helena is going to be in the running here. Up to eight points, potentially more. But I, I prefer that to the Baron. Here's the thing. Leto and the Baron are both pretty incentivized to go here right now. If I, So if I don't trigger this immediately, I don't really have a shot at that alliance. Um, so I'm going to trigger it immediately. Let's do this. Or you know what? Let's do this. Because if it comes down to a tiebreaker, that spice is going to matter that water is not. Okay, so let's drop down. Whoop, not that one. <laughs> let's drop down with the Bene Gesserit. Let's go up with the guild. Steal the alliance. <clears throat> And that's going to be hard for anybody to take back now. Uh, and that gets me... Oh, that gets me reinforcements money as well, which may not matter, but it's... You know. It's potentially interesting. Yeah, see? I knew he was going to do it. I knew it! I knew it. Now, maybe he has a card or something that bumps him up, but... Okay. Well, Lito winning this would be better, I think, than Helena winning it for me. Hopefully, I can still go to research station. No, I can't. Well, what are you going to do? Um, I am... I'm considering just early reveal for Liet Kynes. Because the thing is, if for some weird reason, let's say Helena takes her off with a signet ring, I'm screwed. Um, where is Helena's signet ring? It's not in her discard pile. So it's probably in her hand. 
Like I cannot afford to not get this. This is too important to my strategy right now. So I think it has to be that. I think it has to be an early reveal. Um, Cause what else am I doing? You know, I mean, I, okay, I could get an entry card. Maybe that helps another end game one or something, but that's not going to matter. Uh, I can't get a spice must flow. Because research station has been taken. I could draw one card from Arakeen, but that's not going to do it. So. I just can't risk it. I guess I might as well do this. I don't know. Maybe not, because Solari is a secondary tiebreaker. So maybe theoretically that's better. I was just thinking maybe I get something here, but whatever. I get two Solari back, an Intrigue card. Baron going to Hayliner. Oh, dear me. No! <laughs> No. How did he do it? Did he have an infiltrate? He did it. Okay, so that's pretty harsh because the thing is now... I might still win, but the thing is the game isn't... Well, okay, if the Baron wins this conflict... Then he'll be at 10, so this will be the last round. I'll get two points out of the plans within plans. That puts me up to 11. I do have more spice than he does currently. <laughs> I live in the name of Ar Arcanen. Okay. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Um, yeah, obviously it would have been great if I could have bought Liet Kynes and the, uh, the Spice Must Flow, you know, with going to Research Station, but I don't know. It's, that's a lot. That, that's 14 Persuasion. It's possible I could have done it, but it was, it felt like too much of a risk to me. It was worth, to me, it was worth taking the shot there. I mean, he needed to have an infiltrate. <laughs> to do it, you know? So good for him. But it wasn't likely that that was possible. So in a crazy way, in a crazy way, I might actually want the Baron to win. Like, as long as he doesn't have some kind of secret point in this Intrigue card, which he might, but if he doesn't, it might be better for me to actually, for him to get to 10, end the game, and then have me, and then have me win. Because if it goes to another round, who knows what could happen here. It's been a while since I've gone to round 10. Ugh. Ugh, that hurts. All right, well, with that in mind, oh boy. At this point, does that do anything for anybody? Not a lot. Okay, luckily the Baron is not in the market for this power play. <laughs> wow. Use the Sardaukar Legion to throw him in. Okay, well, there's still three Intrigue cards here. One here, one here. Oh, Lido! 
What in the hell? If, okay, if nobody gets the points, um, you know, I'm okay with that. 11 swords? All right, somebody's getting the points. Wow. Okay. I might as well just retreat my troops with this. Uh, because this is not... These troops aren't doing anything for me. Um, I'd rather have a potential six combat strength than... Uh, than, you know, a plus three. Quite crazy here. Quite crazy. Both of the Baron's alliances cannot be taken away from him. He, you know, he might try to get me on... Why is it a good game? What does he have? What, what does he know that I don't know? Why is he saying good game? Um, it is a little confusing, right? The way the game tells you, like when someone gets to 10, it tells you last round, but it doesn't tell you, uh, actually it's not the last round, whenever somebody drops down below 10, um, that can be a confusing rule. So the way that the game works is at the end of the round, Okay, so I am going to just retreat my troops here. You have no troops in the conflict? Yes, that's fine. Thirty-two <laughs> combat strength. Dear Lord. Oh my God. Well, we're going to round ten, baby. This is anybody's game. This is anybody's game. Um. Helena has a potential point here. Potential point here. It's going to be hard for her to get it. Battle for Imperial Basin. <laughs> oh, man. I don't have an exciting hand here. What do I... I can't even get a Spice Must Flow with this. Okay, I have to try to get Research Station. Please. Okay. I really need that research station. Uh, I'm not sure that I really want to use the voice though, because what would I necessarily want to block? I'm not sure, but I want the two persuasion out of that. Maybe not Lido's game. I mean, 
You never know. What does he have left for influence points? He could get a point here, maybe. Probably not. If he gets two of those, a spice must flow. It's, I mean, it's going to be pretty tough for Leto, but you never know for sure. Okay. Research station still open for me. That's really important. Um, do I have good cards to draw? Yeah. Yeah, I could get, I could get spice must flow persuasion here. But I think that's about it. Yeah, I don't need 10 points for the plans within plans to trigger. It's just when we get to the end of the game, regardless of how many points I have, um, I'll get the I'll get to trigger it. Yeah, I this per, this influence is not worth trying to get, I don't think. Unless those troops No, I have to do this. What do we get? Convincing argument, okay. Liaison, okay. Spice must flow, fine. I'm not deploying the troops right now. I can I can throw them in at the end with the Sardaukar Legion. I mean, it's like, I don't know if it makes a big difference, but I just felt like, well, I might as well just let them chill for a bit. And then just as they think, oh, okay, maybe we didn't have to work today after all. It's like, you know, settle in on the couch and then I'm like, eh, get out there. Get out there and die. Um, hey, Nougat Knight, still feels like you should deploy them in case you want to get more of them and don't want to add a combat space. I suppose you're right, but I suppose you're right. Like if I were to get more of them from a non-combat space, like, but I'm not going to be going to rally troops. I'm not going to be going to conspire. Um, I suppose theoretically I might go to Hall of Oratory. So, yeah. Maybe. Because you're, yeah, I might, I might end up going to Hall of Oratory here. Let's see, what, what would I draw if I were to draw a card? Okay, I definitely draw Persuasion. So, what can I do with the voice to mess things up? What is the Baron trying to do? Oh, man. Maybe I block Hardy Warriors? If I go to Wealth with the Sardaukar, I get two more troops. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should have... I, I don't know why I'm messing around with this. I'm just, like, getting finicky with it, and I don't know. But you're right, actually. <clears throat> the thing is, though, if I do that, I lose a Persuasion, and I can't get Spice Must Flow. Now, if I if I'd planned it out differently, maybe I could have done that 
instead of that, but then I, I don't know. I could send the Sardaukar Legion actually up to Hall of Oratory and get three more troops. So <laughs> the thing is, if I send it, I can't use it either. Whatever. It's like if I use the infantry or the legion to get the troops, then I can't use it to throw them in at the end. So it's possible I could have done it in a slightly different order. Also, I could... I mean, it's the only card I can even play, but there's nowhere I can do it without losing Spice Must Flow. So I can't do it. I have to just reveal. We'll throw in... We'll throw in those troops. See if we can get some tiebreaker spice. Confirm. I'm, I was afraid that was going to like end the turn. Buy the spice must flow. And, you know, hope that 12 points is good enough. Okay, so there's the Hardy Warriors that, you know, I could only block it for one turn, not the whole round. So there is still a danger of the Baron here. And he has three intrigue cards. Now, Leto also has three intrigue cards, as well as a remaining agent. Uh, but he has no more troops in his garrison, and he has no real combat spaces he can go to. So, yeah, you might as well try to get an intrigue card. See if it helps. He's up to four. Leto winning seems good. Yeah, I want Leto to win this conflict. He has seven cards in hand. So, you know. Oh, Sleeper Must Awaken. Dangerous. Okay, I, I really don't want Baron to... Oh, he's got nine. There's a Spice Must Flow. Okay, he cannot win this conflict. Now, if he does win the conflict, that brings him to 12. He has no Spice. So I would win on the Spice tiebreaker. Uh, we w If he somehow gets more Spice. Okay, good, good, good. Come on, Leo. Good, good man. Mavor, why does it only block it for one turn? The card states round. It doesn't. It's a, it, The wording is confusing. Seven swords for Helena. Opponents can't send their next agents there this round. So basically, the, after I play the voice, the next agent each player places can't go to that space. But after that, their following agents can. It's a, uh, it's a common source of confusion. Every, pretty much everyone who has played Dune Imperium um, has been confused by how the voice works, but that's how it works. Okay. Well, unfortunately, I'm not going to be getting any spice there, but it looks like Leto's going to win the conflict, so that's good news. Corner of the market. Oh no, oh no. Whoa. <laughs> I guess his corner of the market didn't actually trigger. Oh man. That was, 
Ah, I wanted to go back and look at the chat. Ah, oh, whoops. Crap. Yeah, Memnon. Memnon came through again, man. Ugh. Good old Memnon. Good old Memnon, man. He's such a treat. Should start calling me the Memnon Maestro. I mean, I guess. That's going to be it for the stream tonight. Thank you so much for everybody who has tuned in here live and has been chatting along. Yeah, I, I really appreciate everyone coming in here. You know, there's lots of ways to spend your time in this crazy world we live in. So I appreciate you spending a time here with me and with the rest of the, the viewers. Very cool. 